Yo, ladies and gentlemen, we are back once again with more of my L.A. Noir Let's Play series. In the last episode, we finished our first vice case. And now we're about to start vice case number two. So, let's get underway. Reefer Madness. It's a DLC case. You know a Freddy Calhoun? No. Sure, I know Freddy. Freddy needs money to get out of town. How does he now? Says he's prepared to blow the whistle on a primo reefer distribution ring. Mm. Says he Has can... Has he said how much it's going to cost? 50 bucks. And the department will front me the 50? You can put in an expense claim. He's over at Mike Lyman's on Hollywood Boulevard. See what you can find out. All right, let's go. Mike Lyman's bar, 10.14 a.m. Freddy, you're looking good. You're gonna help me, right? That's what I'm here for. You got the money? The 20? Sure, right here. 20? I said... You want the money or the alternative? Tell us about the reefer, Freddy. Who's he? Another good Samaritan. Answer the question. Grass comes from Tijuana. Mexico! Bring 50 pounds a week. 50 pounds? Are you hallucinating, Freddy? He's been it's smoking his own supply. 1952 North Las Palmas. Names, Freddy. The guy at the house is a spick that goes by the name Juan Garcia Cruz. Juan. Be careful. He likes guns. Or do I get my money? Oh, does he? Do me a favor, Freddy. I like guns, too. Spend money on a bus ticket. You can't last forever on a snitch jacket. Let's go visit this Cruz character. Fifty pounds of dope. We're going there anyway. Crazy. Juan Garcia Cruz House. Oh, guns at the ready. Call for help. I'll try to find a way in. Missed him. Headshot. Wooden overcoats. I'll ask you politely to move on. Next time I won't be so nice. Wait, well, moving on. Okay. You guys don't have to leave a mess. What happened? Dope peddler, Juan Cruz. He opened fire and, well, the rest of the story tells itself. What'd you got there, boy? A coin? A silver dollar. I thought they took these things out of circulation. Might like to keep it for uh, for old time's sake. Ah, right, here's one. Juan Garcia Cruz. This is his address, but this place looks like a front. A note. Is this a drug or a village in Borneo? Doesn't appear to be in Spanish. Masanque. Parnell Soup Company. Doesn't anyone eat regular meals anymore? Junkies feeding on popcorn and grasshoppers living on soup. The ledger? Señoritas, ¿cómo estás? In here. 20th century market. I mean, these are the guys keeping one so well stocked with soup. Probably. So here. 
You want a chicken coop? I want some shed. Incidental. Uh, what's in this one? Ha! Ha ha! Phelps, you jump like a girl. <laughs> hmm. I think you're the girl around here. And this other flower tin. Oh, it's stuck. Ah. Now we're getting somewhere. Yes, we are indeed, Cole. More soup? Who in the hell keeps a secret stash of soup? You hungry or something, Phelps? Starving. How about you? It's like ganja. I'd say that's pretty good value for 12 cents. Factory seal. Someone at the cannery has a lot of explaining to do. Mm. True, true. There's more of it. Soup in the pot. With Juan dead, we need a new suspect, Cole. Is there a pattern to the deliveries? Do you wanna? This guy EJ seems to be bringing in most of the serious weight. EJ. The dates and times seem pretty regular. We should notify the border crossing. Those fuckers are probably in on it. Let's wait and see how this plays out. All clues done again. You're behind the wheel. Where are we going? Brother says the morphine is still turning up. Makes sense. We have no idea how much of the stuff Lenny shifted. There's been no comeback That's from Cohen as yet. Maybe Confidential Magazine is right, and Bugsy is on the slide. You read that stuff? Hey, hey. I wouldn't say it to his face if I was you. That is one hot-tempered son of a bitch. Language? Parnell Soup Factory, 10.33 a.m. Right. Let's see if we can find out who's been overseasoning the soup in this place. LAPD. Who owns this factory, ma'am? Mr. Parnell. Howard Parnell. I'll let him know you're here. How, Please. How you doing, girl? If you don't mind, we'll come with you. If you must. Oh, we must. You just wanted to follow her, didn't you? You sly dog. I must apologize for my partner's roving eye. He hates saying goodbye, but he loves watching them leave. Dude, don't be such a cock Roy. block. If you could show these men in to see Mr. Parnell, Doris. They're from the LAPD. Follow me, gentlemen. Little girl. What is going on? LAPD. Sit tight, fatso. You could be in very serious trouble. There's no reason to be rude. Take a seat, gentlemen. I'm sure we can sort this all out. Maybe you can explain why we found $5 bags of marijuana in sealed Parnell soup cans. That's an outrageous allegation. How do you explain it, chubby? We found at least 30 cans, all sealed up tight with your label on them. Can I get a list of your employees? Yeah. Of course. We have nothing to hide. Doris, can you bring me in the current employee listing? Here it is, Mr. Parnell. On the desk, please. 
Doris likes to shake her hips. Mmm, girl. Any name on that list that rings a bell? Uh, let's see. George Garcia Cruz? This is familiar. 1452 North Los Palmas. Brother, maybe? A Jorge Garcia Cruz. A Jorge, not George. Factory seal soup cans. The factory sealed cans we found suggest a very professional operation, Mr. Parnell. We're looking for an inside man. I know nothing about this. I want this stopped as much as you do. Mm. We don't have any evidence to prove that he knows. I don't know. I don't. I don't think he's the kind of boss that really cares that much about his uh, employees. So let's go with doubt. Tell me what I want to know, Parnell, or I will have half the LAPD down here tearing this place apart. You're hiding something. Am I right in thinking you would not want to pursue misdemeanors outside your drug case? Depending on what you call a misdemeanor, we might be prepared to turn a blind eye. The truth is I employ a lot of illegals. No one wants to do menial work anymore. Mm. Most of my factory staff are wetbacks. The local blacks and Chicanos all want jobs in aircraft factories. Presumably because the pay is a lot better. And about the company? How are your sales, Mr. Parnell? Just fine and dandy, son. We're entering a new era of prosperity. I hope you're both big soup eaters. You don't look happy about what you just said. Go with doubt again. Mr. Parnell, do you know what kind of trouble you're in? Come clean with us. Okay, so things are a little flat. We're deciding whether to lower production. Hmm. It's taken a while to adjust to not having any military contracts. You know, we sold Uncle Sam five million cans of ministry. Wow. Knowledge of Cruz, of brothers. Juan Garcia Cruz? Not that I know of. He has a brother employed here. You know him? We employ large numbers of Mexicans. I, I'm not familiar with them all. Mm. Let's try a third time lucky and go for doubt again. That's funny, Parnell. He has the same address as his brother Juan, who we shot dead less than an hour ago. You better give me something. Look, I'm not involved in this. I'm getting enough grief from Washington. There's an investigation going on into profiteering, like a guy shouldn't be able to turn a buck while the war is on. I'm sure thousands of dead Marines sleep soundly knowing that you did okay. Tell us about Jorge Garcia Cruz. Jorge? I had no idea of his last name. His team does daily maintenance on the conveyor belts and cookers. Mm. Oh. Oh, you know, you seem to be telling the truth about that. So he's here now? No, maintenance is at night. Uh, night shift finishes around midnight. He would usually come in around 9 p.m. and have everything ready for the morning shift at 6. We'd like to take a look around the factory floor, Mr. Parnell. I hope we won't have to shut down the line. No, nothing like that. Thank you. I'm grateful for that. I'll show you around myself. Thank you. I hate seeing how things are made. This is going to be like that time I went to the slaughterhouse and couldn't eat steak for a week. Hey, boys. James, go. Go to next. This is where the produce comes in. We peel and sort all of the vegetables and add them to the line in regular quantities. Fascinating. This is why I became a police officer. Why don't you keep quiet? You might learn something. Oh, good God. This really is turning into some nightmare school trip flashback. School trips were brilliant. They got you out of the classroom and you learn something different. This is the hopper, which boils and purees the vegetables. 
The other hopper is for the pasta. This way, please. You're loving this, aren't you, it's Phelps? It's thrilling. The soup is ladled automatically into cans. Next stage is labeling. I'd like to see the packing and dispatch area, if you don't mind. Sure. It's over here. Follow me. Let me get some free soup to go. This is one of our dispatchers. Sergio, right? Yes, sir. These men are from the LAPD. Sergio here records our outgoing deliveries. They all go in the book. Just there on the desk. Hola, Sergio. We're looking for repeat business in large amounts, Cole. You got 15 boxes every time from the 20th century market. What's going on, Parnell? There's enough soup going to this place every day to feed a company of Marines. What are you talking about? Can I have a look at that coin? Sure, why not? Same coin. Silver dollar, right? Yeah, that's right. The markings on it say it's been taken out of circulation. Maybe. I'm not trying to buy anything with it. I like it. it brings me luck. Fair enough. Everyone needs a good luck charm, I guess. Factory seals, suit cans. Do you have access to the canning area? I do. But I keep to my station. Loading and unloading. Don't care much for soup. But you love working in a suit factory, don't you? Sergio, if you don't give me something, I'm gonna go to immigration services and have you deported. I get a shipment once every two weeks. Ernesto does the driving. I don't know his full name. It's delivered here at night, or he gets it canned up. From here, it gets sent all over the country. And the market? What do you know about the 20th century market? Nada. I get the orders from upstairs. I send the goods where I'm told. And you don't know Juan Garcia Cruz? No. Not me. I think you do. Because you two have the same coin. You're a liar, Sergio. You're in it. And I'm going to break you for it. You're loco, placa. I got nothing to do with Juan Garcia. Got one silver dollar. We found a matching silver dollar on Juan Garcia. What are the odds of that, Sergio? One and Jorge are brothers. They're cousins. They work for some evil gabacho. The guy is an aberration. He gives out the silver dollars. Jorge gets me a list of deliveries every morning. 20th century is always on. You keep your mouth shut for today and I don't take you in. Do we have a deal? Do I have a choice? Nope. You do not, sir. Is that a serious question? That's it for now, Sergio. If we need to speak to you again, we'll put in a call to Mr. Parnell. If you have to, I guess. We will be in touch, Mr. Parnell. It is imperative that things appear as normal here. Keep an eye on Sergio in case he gets tempted to blow the whistle. Thanks. I'll do that. You're going to overlook my little immigration problem, aren't you? Cheer up, fatso. We're gonna let you go on squeezing these poor saps a little while longer. For now. Well, until some commie union types infiltrate this place. I am glad to be out of that place. I never knew fresh vegetables could smell so bad. Well, if you want to eat burgers, you don't usually go to a slaughterhouse. You usually don't want to find out what you eat and where it's made. Any available unit to worry for suspect to be taken into custody at Sunset and Ivar. Unit to handle code 2. Detective Phelps. Phelps, in a minute, a bagman named Rampton's gonna walk in here and put a mint on some horse running in the fifth. 
We don't care about Rampley so much as we want his boss. He's the one we're gonna put away for fixing the race. You're hoping Rampley will lead us to him? Bingo. Here's what you're gonna do. Get in there, blend in, wait for our mark. He'll be in a dark coat. Wait until he hands over the cash, then tear him. Good luck. I'll wait outside. Keep an eye on the place. Here's what I heard. Cops caught the guy who did the dally, but they covered it up. Some kind of big conspiracy. That's that cop. Seems like a decent guy. Shh, you'll blow my cover. Give me a grand on Cavalcade the Fifth. Ah, uh, cool, cool. Alright, let's tail him. It's quite an interesting side quest. Usually we're shooting up people or chasing them. This time, just following them. We have to be very, very sneaky. Cross the road, cross the road. And hide. Don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. Ooh, very close. Where are you going? Hi. Hey, come on, this ain't New York. Damn it. Second try. I'll wait outside. Keep an eye on the place. I mean, usually if you're trying to, you know, like, make sure that you know you're not being caught, you don't always look around because that just looks so suspicious. Hey, come on. This ain't New York. Hello there. Got it, boss. A full G. She's coming in at 20 to 1. Mm. LAPD, you're both under arrest. All right, now it's a chase. <laughs> Goodbye. Roger that, 11K. All units, be advised. The 44 at Sunset and Ivar is code for suspects are down. Okay, back to the case. But we get rank 19 in the meantime. Why don't you mind your business? Leave mine alone. Here we go, 20th Century Market, 11.05 a.m. Sit tight. Let's take a look at what's going on. Either these customers are serious soup lovers, or I think we found our middleman. Car 11 King to KGPL. Car 11 King, go ahead. I'm requesting assistance in a B wagon at 20th Century Markets, 1558 North Highland. Numerous narcotic suspects. Code 2 only, no sirens. 11K, Roger. Okay. Cavalry should be here any minute. The boys like to, uh,. A lot of the boys like to get their bows on. LAPD, nobody move! I'll take my chances. I don't like them. I don't like your chances. Tap, 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 tap. You're not going. Damn it! Come on, Carl, you could have got him. Okay, come on, get up the stairs, damn it. What the hell happened there? Wait. Wait, what the hell?
Aha, I got you trapped now. I don't know what, 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 what the hell happened? Oh my god. Come on, dude, you've got nowhere to hide. No? Nope. Alright, another fight. Let's do this. Easy peasy, easy peasy lemon squeezy once again. I'm like Muhammad Ali in this bitch. Whatever you're carrying, hand it over. I'd say he's got about half a can left. I guess that makes me a pessimist. But why would you have the weed in your pocket? And save it for later, Carl. You're gonna in. smoke it yourself. Take you in. Be glad he didn't shoot you. I wouldn't have chased you. If it was up to me, you'd be talking out of a hole in the back of your I head. I want information. Senor, I would like to help you. But I got a family in Mexico I have to provide for. And my compadres are very unreasonable. Your compadres? Turn out your pockets. Another coin. I, I need Ray to run down these silver dollars. I need to make a deal. I need guarantees. You have identification? Sanchez Erto, Mexican, Tijuana address. Mexico, Tijuana. Here's the deal, Erto. You give me information, and I won't give you to immigration. Knowledge of this EJ. Give me EJ, the driver bringing in the shipments, or I'll make you for it. I run the shop. That's all I do. Mm. No. Tell me the goddamn truth. You are in this with the others. I told you I know them. I told you my family's at risk. What makes me part of their gang? The coin. You have a silver dollar, Erto, just like Juan. I'm sure Ernesto and the rest have them as well. The silver dollars are his mark. Whose? Give me a name. None of us are allowed to see him. His creatures carry his orders to us. If I gave you his name, I would be buried alongside my wife and children. If you don't give us something, you will rot in jail while your family starves on the street. Ernesto Juarez, tonight at 1 a.m. Ernesto. He's bringing the truck into the soup factory. Please help me, sir. Ernesto can be very cruel. I don't think about it. Tell me about the soup cans. The soup is very popular, as you can see. Yeah, people do like to get a good buzz off them. The real funny wise guy. You want to try saying that again with no teeth? I get a delivery at 7.30 every other day from the factory. Jorge organizes everything. Juan and Jorge Cruz. We know about Jorge and Juan. Juan is dead. Tell us how you know the Cruz boys. Ernesto put together this thing. He brought in Juan, Juan brought in Jorge. Okay. Continue. I was already here. Ernesto knows I'm illegal, so he threatened to report me if I didn't help. And the money is good. The gringos and the gringas, they love the reefer. I see, 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 see. And I didn't want to have to leave and start again in San Francisco. You're breaking my heart. Don't break my heart. You're under arrest, my Erto. My breaky heart. I'll speak to the DA and see if he will agree to not seize your assets or deport you. That's the best I can do. Parnell Soup Factory. Back to the soup factory waiting for the Hispanics to get here. Freddy said they were moving 50 pounds a week. Mm. That's a lot of soup cans. I think this is an interstate operation. Moving dope around the country to selected grasshoppers. Local weed gets distributed in the usual way, through Pachuco street punks. Someone must know something about this drug baron character. Here they come. First. Okay. Now, 
Let's get him. Oh, here comes the cavalry. This is gonna be good. Phelps! Free these boys. No, we don't want a handgun. All right, move. We want a bigger move. gun. Let's Tommy go. Gun or shotgun. Tommy gun. Always Tommy gun. What's it? Okay, gentlemen, we'll take the lead. You got your back. Go to him. LAPD, put your hands where we can see them. Throw out the gun. Headshot. I see you. I see you. Come on. Find some cover. One more. Whatever it is. Hello, boys. I think that's the last of them. There oh. it is. They didn't stand the chance. Detectives. Found something here you probably want to see. All right, what you got? Oh, so Nestor, not looking so good now, are you, boy? Cause you is dead. There's that coin. One dollar per dead man. Oh, so Gunman's. It seemed like much for I was a Nestor. Maybe I'm just being racist. Juarez. Do you want to address? We should see what the federales have on. There. Ne oh yeah, it is Ernesto. Sea of grass. Oh, looks like you're not going to this premiere. God damn! I think we found our stash, Cole. Take a look in these boxes. Okay. Ooh, damn! Very minimum, another fifty pounds. Detectives, I think we got the guy. Does the name Cruz mean something oh, yes, to you? It, does. it certainly does. <laughs> it's a very weird way to die with uh, a bunch of money rolled up. Just out there like that. It's be a thousand dollars here. We don't give him back to him, he's not gonna need it. Yeah, another coin. Yet another oh, hey, silver, silver dollar. dollar. Phelps, Earl. Looks like quite a bloodbath. What was this all about? Drugs and money. I was bored. Speaking of money, where did that roll go? I picked it up for safekeeping. The department owes me fifty. Ray, I have another two coins for you. Great. Oh, gosh, I made a profit of something to show you. Nine hundred and fifty. It's all set up on the table over here. Uh, dollars, uh, there. Roy. Take a look at these coins you've been collecting. There are letters cut into each coin, along with not legal tender. What does it mean? Uh, Those are Morgan silver dollars from the 20s. They were removed from circulation and sent for disposal. Uh, pull that back. A number of smelters around the country had the contract. Look at them together. Can you work out what it says? Masan K metals. Sparadine. First coin, M-A-S. The second, A-N-G. The third, K-A-Y. The fourth, M-E-T. The fifth, A-L-S. Mesanke Metals. A metal foundry. Would you like the address? Would I ever. <laughs> oh, boy, gee, Willikas, sir. Hollywood. We'll finish up here. It's already been a long night, Phelps. See if you can talk them into giving themselves up. 
I doubt I'll be able to talk. The Sanke Metal Warehouse. 10 29 p.m. Locked. We need another way in. Mm. And here. We can make the fence. We'll go this way. Guy that run. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Bye. Oh, that's not a good hiding spot. Man, I need a bigger weapon. That'll do it. Stay in cover. Is that it? No, still more to go. Ah, from here. LAPD, hands up. Victor Sanders. You know this guy? I should have known. Of course I know Roy. Roy and I have had an arrangement for Get many up. years. You're under arrest. Am I? This we have a mountain of prima facie evidence, as well as the testimony. You'd be surprised how things have a habit of sorting themselves out. What do you mean? Evidence disappearing. Witnesses that can't be found. Policemen that forget. The impossible becomes probable when you have a client list like mine. Shut your mouth! Turn around and put your hands behind your back. Working vice can be a thankless task, Phelps. But on behalf of the brass and the moms and dads and the concerned citizens, I'd like to commend you and your partner for smashing this dope. No problem, sir. Reefer is almost as big a threat to the children of this city as communism. What about Sanders, Lieutenant? Leave Sanders to me, Phelps. The chief will be looking after that one person. He will be brought to trial. Phelps, we are celebrating your success. That's enough. Don't push your luck. Sanders is no longer your problem. Oh, the city is so corrupt. Every herb bearing seed. Five stars. And all clues and questions correct. Case notes. Even without Victor Sanders, the parole the Parnell's suit pop bust is guaranteed to go down in LAPD history. Yep. But it's not that good though. I still wish that we brought this Victor Sanders to, to justice. But no, even the LAPD is corrupt. So ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for the DLC case Reefer Madness on Vice. If you did enjoy the episode, please give a like, subscribe if you are new around here. Comment below, see what games you want to play in the near future, what videos you want to do in general, and also how to improve my channel. That's going to be it from me. Thanks for stopping by once again, and I'll see you all soon. Peace!